Well, Ryan, the game appeared to be heading nowhere and was becoming ever more difficult to commentate on with nothing happening. And then <laughs> a bold move by Worcestershire, which I don't think many people saw coming. Yeah, it was interesting, wasn't it? That um, Look, they they obviously batted pretty well today. Um, you know, there was a times where it was sort of looked like it was going nowhere, but um, in the end of the day, they'd made that decision. I think the way we batted for that last 18 overs showed our intentions as well. Jack Haynes batted for a whole day last year at New Road and got 120 against Durham. He's batted all today. Um, he's just said he really enjoyed it. 253 balls. He could have probably been batting tomorrow morning, couldn't he? <laughs> so it needed something. It needed a declaration. And congratulations to him. He's not going to mind, is he? He's got a century and a career best score. Yeah, mate, he, he batted very well. He's a good young player, you know. So um, <laughs> we seem to come up against a few of them who have got good records against us. But, uh, look, I, I think... Um, Look, it wasn't nipping around as much today, and obviously it settled down. The ground staff had done a fantastic job to just to get us playing, really, with all the rain that's been around. So, look, once he got in, it's one of those wickets that if you don't make a mistake, it's very tough to get you out. So, um, he should be very proud of himself. And like you say, he's put Worcester in a position where you know they're they're back in the game, um, and now it leaves us to the last day, which could be an interesting one. I think there were a few times last season when matches here were, were crying out for a bold declaration on, on a slowish, flattish wickets. So, you know, it would be interested to see how it unfolds tomorrow. But as you say, the ground staff did a fantastic job. The rain that fell on um, Friday and overnight into Saturday to get a prompt start today. You know, underneath our feet here, it's very soft, isn't it? Yeah, well, and that's the thing, you know, ground staff can cop a, a bit of stick over, you know, for things they do, the pitches that they prepare, or is it flat enough, is it green enough, all that sort of stuff. But look, at the end of the day, you've got to take your hats off because they do an amazing job to get us cricket. You know, we've had, what, a week of pretty poor weather up here and you know to Vic and all his staff just been fantastic and I think the actual playing surface the carry through and again I wasn't here last year but the carry through of the wiki has been really good so I, th I think he's really encouraged with it what he's seen as well and as a groundsman if he's watching the ball go through and with a smile on his face I think we're on the on the right path. This is going to test your blueprint for cricket then isn't it because you're going to have to come out and be bowled on uh, Sunday morning and, and set Worcestershire something they'll be interested in? Well, you know, we've already done the math and we know what we want to, what we need to score and it's very clear. I'm not going to now sit on my hands and go, oh yeah, no, nah, let's play it out for a draw. That, that won't happen. So, um, but again, we have to bat well. That, that's the, the plain truth. If you lose wickets, you won't score enough, fast enough to, um, to leave it. And I think in the end of the day, it's all about how many overs do we need to take 10 wickets? So, you know, we have a figure in our in our heads and hopefully we can get to there. Do you have a figure in mind for uh, the new target? <laughs> now, come on, oh, I no, can't no. tell you the exact figure, but um, look, it, it'll be an opportunity for both teams to win. That's, you know, that's what I believe. Um, again, oh, I think that the declaration came at a time which surprised a few because it was just meandering along for quite a long time today where you know, it, it needs a bit of creative thinking, I reckon. And if more teams start to do that, which I think you're going to see this year, and as you can see already, you know, there's a lot of declarations going on. I think that produces better cricket, for one. It makes better players, for two. And the crowds want to come and see it, for three, which shouldn't be underestimated. And, you know, I think it's set up for a really exciting last day. Was there a point in the day where you were concerned that it was like meandering towards a draw? Because like we were saying in the, in the press box, we've seen this game against Worcester last year. Yeah. And is, is there any concerns about the pitch at all? Uh, look, in the end of the day, it, it's a wicket that's, you know, it's producing a lot of runs. But if you get it in the right areas, there's been a lot of play and misses. And the, the balls carry through to the wickies. Yes, it hasn't spun yet, but it never really has here. But again, that could change in the last day. So, um... I, I always believe that the fourth day wicket, it should be tough to bat on. And I think, you know, generally some of the grounds around the world, it's got too easy on the last day. We, we want it to be tough. So, again, mate, oh, Vic does a good job. He knows more about grounds than me, so I'm never going to comment about his wickets. But like I say, and I said that earlier, the carry through to the wiki is really encouraging because from what I'd heard last year, that was a, a, a factor. Um, but if the ball's getting through the wiki at a good pace, that means, you know, your bowlers are bending their backs and something can happen.